The lovely Santa, 8 o'clock. It's that time again. Good morning to you, St. Kitts Nevis. We are Island Team. Hey, good morning to everyone. Welcome to Island Tea. Beautiful Thursday morning for those of persons who are listening to the sound of my voice. I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful morning. Um, we are here fully powered to discuss issues. We're here fully powered to, you know, to have a little chit-chat, discussions, things that are current in the news. And I want to start the morning off with a little positive tea. And so it is... The quote for this morning, setting goals is the first step in turning the invincible, the inv the inv invincible, <coughs> I have a tongue twister jam star. Invincible? No, in uh, I have a tongue twister. Irrevocable? Or no. Or? Visible, invisible. invisible. <laughs> yes. So setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into visible. And that's Tony Robbins. So setting goals is a first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Tony Robbins. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into visible. Tony Robbins. And of course, <coughs> this morning, we are just about um, beginning. And we have a number of things in uh, the news, if you look at... Um, loop for the morning. They're talking about, or uh, just about 56 minutes ago, the discussion or the article surrounded fire guts. So uh, there's a fire that has been started in, that has destroyed another dormitory in Guyana this time at the St. Angela Girls Hostel. And so the Guyana Fire and Rescue Services says the report was received at approximately 4 a.m. It stated, <coughs> at this time, we can confirm that everyone was, um, was vacated from the building and no one was injured. However, the building and its contents were destroyed. So fire service officials accompanied the police, the Minister of Home Affairs, the Minister of Education, and other officials and they headed to where the fire was in Region 9 to carry out investigation and to engage residents following the early morning fire. Also says that the Department of Public Information is an early, in an earlier statement also noted that a full team of technical um, officials and a cabinet member are en route to Region 9 where the dormitory was destroyed by fire. So we have another dormitory destroyed by fire. Sounds a little, sounds a little, um, <coughs> hmm. And uh, you know, the latest wow. would have been, we, uh, we had a Medea Secondary School dormitory set a fire, uh, which claimed the lives of 20 children. This, this sounds a little too, too pat to be a coincidence. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if, uh, I don't want to speculate, but you know, you wonder if maybe you have, it's like a copycat thing without the motive, <laughs> as in yeah. one of the kids uh, thought, hmm. The thing about it, and I, it, I, I mean, you, the it timing, I mean, the timing of it, you, you think about a tragic incident that has occurred just a week or more ago. And then while you're in grief, while you're still, you know, looking at this situation, there's another. S but it, I haven't seen any, any. Oh no, no deaths. Yeah, I haven't you seen any no deaths. deaths. Just, just the building they yeah. said destroyed, but yeah. everyone was rescued. Yeah. And Guyana is in the news a lot. Um, Guy, uh, a Guyanese influencer, Tabby Badier, uh, she was killed in a targeted, what? Quote unquote, attack in Atlanta. Oh wow. She, a Guyanese social media influencer. Uh, mm -hmm. She was shot dead yesterday in Atlanta. Wow. In what police said, quote, appears to be a targeted incident. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Her real name is Tisha, De Tisha Doris. Mm -hmm. And she, she was shot, shot at around 4.30 a.m. while, the, while the, the, the Uber that she was traveling is stopped at the traffic light in um, Lindbergh Drive. That's in the Buckhead neighborhood. That's like mm -hmm. a, where a lot of rich people live. 
um, media report mm. said the SUV that the 30 year old was driving in was hit over 20 times. Wow. Wow. <sighs> so say, th- say that again. You said that the vehicle was hit. 20 times. So they, they, they shot up the vehicle, but she died as yeah. well. Yeah. 20 times. Yeah. Man. Wow. <laughs> it always seems with Luke that, like, you know, one time I was saying, hmm, like, we were just getting, like, almost wall to wall Grenada stories. Now it's yeah. like almost wall to wall Guyana yeah, no. stories. Yeah. I haven't seen since wall to wall think it's Navy stories. Yeah, well, uh, we. I, I want them to be for the best reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of which, yeah. um, yesterday, no, um, as a DJ, I, I belong to about four or five reggae po- uh, DJ pools. Mm-hmm. And uh, in addition to that, I get sent music by record labels, record producers, artists, artists, publicity people. Um, no. <laughs> Byron Messiah, right? Yeah. Um, I, 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 I received a few tracks. Some of the other tracks, the ones that weren't popular but not as big as, as Tyler Vans, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I received them over the last few months and so on. And, and I remember I was thinking like last week, I was idly thinking, oh, so how come I haven't gotten Tyler Vans yet? Because usually I, I just wait because I know, I know if, if I hear a song, I know it's going to show up in my email or it's going to show up in my account somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. So yesterday when I got home, um, was it yesterday? No, it might have been Monday. Might have been Monday. So, or oh, Tuesday. So, I went home and there it was. <laughs> the clean, the clean, and the dirty version. And um, so I was telling my wife, actually I told her this morning. I, not last night. I told her last night. I said, you know, it's funny. You know you have arrived when certain people's music show up on my record pool you know that person trust me they've they've arrived so so their music showed up on your your pool yeah so i mean because pool. especially the caribbean music if, if mm. it's if if you see a caribbean track whether it's soca or dance hall or reggae you see zook you see it show up on one of those american things you have arrived you have it means that you have good um you good you have good people managing your 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 your, your career and that so i was like wow okay I guess mm-hmm. Byron Messiah. I mean, we already knew he'd arrive, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. he finally showed up in my inbox. Yeah, that, that's that's so that's certification there already. So I was listening to the. <laughs> yes. So folks, if you want to hear it, uh, make sure you join me at uh, <laughs> at ten o'clock for Spin Cycle. But I was listening to the radio version because yeah. I was listening a discussion yesterday with Ek and um, Ek and Mr. McMahon on on um, mm. issues. Yes, and. And Ike was telling him, well, you know, there's a radio version and stuff. And then Mr. Macon was asking, well, was asking him to describe uh, what the radio version would do. Mm-hmm. And then he said, well, it, you know, it will they'll take out some of the, the problematic words mm-hmm. and so on. And and but I should tell you, this is done with varying degrees of, um, let's say, coherent. Let me say varying degrees of coherence. Mm-hmm. Um, efficiency and um, frustration because you sometimes have songs. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Yeah. I'm not making this up as a. There are songs, right, where they come out. The radio version isn't clean enough. Then they have to do what we call a squeaky clean. And yeah. then sometimes there's a super, super squeaky clean, yes. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes they leave in words that I'm like, well, why would you think? I'm thinking, well, why <laughs> would you think that that word could, could fly? Mm-hmm. Because. Especially in the U.S., depending on the state, mm-hmm. like the radio market, some words might be more objectionable <laughs> in one than market than others. That, yes, so well, so then sometimes I guess I you can have see oh, that because have to go back and, you, know, you know different states have different laws. Yeah, yeah. And, and what and might and be and different um, sensibilities about yeah. certain things. Yeah. You know, but uh, so it's going to be interesting to to hear. Um, we have the we have the Caribbean link up at eight thirty. P- at uh, eight thirty, yeah, I haven't. He hasn't said anything different. Last week he said he couldn't have it. So okay. Actually, it's for oh no, no, I had forgotten. Yes, we're not having. He's in the U.S. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I spoke to him yesterday. Yeah, I spoke to him about something else. Mm-hmm. And then I said, um, I said, so we having it. And then he said, oh, you forget I'm in the U.S. I said, oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so we're so not having it today. So, yeah, so we're not having it today. So he's in the U.S. Um. 
Okay. Let me see. I remember there was a clip that you wanted to play by Dwyer. Dwyer, I played it yesterday. You played it yesterday yeah. during um. Yeah, during voices. During voices. And it is kind of long, but I mean, mm. I sent you guys something this morning. Um, mm-hmm. last night actually, I I I was saw the article about the words. You know about all those. You know all these little things in life that you didn't know that there's a word to describe them. Yeah, let me. Like I'm, for <laughs> I'm checking. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was I thought it was kind of interesting. I said, oh, this could make for a good good a good discussion, and we can even ask the callers to call in with some of some of theirs. Um, take for example, uh-huh. let me give you one. A fork. You know what those things are called? Say again. Uh, take a fork. You know what the spikes? Oh, you call them spikes. Okay, so. This. Okay, this. I was thinking the fork as the new one that you pull into. Yeah, you but you would apply to any fork. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, those are called. Okay, this one has four. Yeah. You know what they're called? Tell me. Tine. Interesting. So, I this is a four tine fork. I think, yeah, I've heard that expression You've heard before. it before. I've right? heard that tine, expression yeah. before. Yeah, so. So when well, I never you never think about that. No, though. but yeah, but they're I, they're when they do, I know you say that when they describe the different forks, um, three times, yeah, four yeah, time, yeah, 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 something or, to consider. Or usually, you know, when you see the, the cook, maybe he's you know the big forks they use, mm-hmm. like say they like a. Why are we the, back the, the at this? So you know, time. you realize it's back at the food. Cooking <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were say that. Yes, it's back at this cooking story. No, 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 no. I was just, mm-hmm. just thinking. Mm-hmm. The two, th- the two tiny ones yeah. are usually the ones that the cooks use mm-hmm. like, because they're bigger. So you, yeah. you probably only need two tines. Well, no. When I saw that thing, mm-hmm. I said, I said that's interesting. Like the first one on the list, it was about um, the, you know, the little plastic thing. Or sometimes it's, yeah, mm-hmm. plastic. Sometimes it's leather, depending on how fancy the shoes are. At the end of the shoelace. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, oh. It's on the list. Go, o- o- open it. You see. Let me let me really check. So this. Uh, when I saw that, this, uh, this, uh, that's interesting. That's that that has a name. Yeah. <laughs> everything has a name, but this is yeah, everything does. But yeah. it's usually um. You don't know sometimes. Yeah. <coughs> then because you just. You know, you just don't <coughs> consider it. It's on Twitter. <coughs> yeah, this was on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So it says here. <coughs> okay. And the, the division symbol has a name. I didn't even know that. So apparently it's called the aglet. aglet. Yes. Mm, the aglet. <laughs> That's interesting. Please ensure that the aglet on your, sh- on your, and uh, on your shoelace remains. Yes. And, intact. And, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, uh, then I, uh, there's this one, paresthesia. You know how sometimes you think sitting for a long time and some body part goes to sleep? Yes. Paresthesia, so... The prickly tingling sensation you experience in your foot or other body part falls asleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> there was one on this list that I learned in metal work. Ferrule. Let me see. Yeah. Um, the metal piece on the end of a pencil. Was that? Yeah. No, it might have been woodwork I heard. Love. The no, metal piece on there. the end of a pencil yeah. that holds that the holds eraser, eraser in, in place. place. The ferrule, yeah. I think they use it in metal work for some other some other. Thi- oh, it might be like if it's mm-hmm. so like a paintbrush. Yeah. You would call it a ferrule as well. Yeah. Because that's where the bristles. But you know, <coughs> thinking about the for you, you think about the pencil. You know about the eraser. But you never really can Well, for me at least, I've never really considered the metal object that's you know hold them two together. So that's some consideration. I mean, you know, it's interesting here. So yeah, j- jams are here. The the what about a pea-sized amount of toothpaste? Oh, it's on the list? Yes. Mm, where is it? Where you sh- oh, you found that somewhere else? No, it's on the list. Really? A piece-sized amount of toothpaste. Oh, tittle? No. no. Oh, you know, the tittle is. <laughs> <laughs> With piece-sized, I don't... Oh, a nerdle. Yes. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, a nerdle. I saw a nerdle, but for some I didn't read to see what it was. And then somebody in the comments said, you see the one, the obelus is the division symbol. Yes. And then someone in the comments in response to that said that the the plus sign is called a modulus. I did not know that. Yeah. The yeah. And um, so there was another one I learned in metal work, so which always stuck in my head. I, I mm-hmm. guess it stuck in my head because I I associated the name with something else. You know, Tang, yeah. right? You know, yeah, Tang. tang the 
The drink, the thing yeah. you make the drink yeah. with. Yeah. But the tang apparently is, you know, if you have, you know, if you have like a, let's say you have a, a tool and you take off the handle. Mm -hmm. The part that goes into the handle is called the tang. <laughs> if you take off a tool, if you have a so tool. So like technically, even a knife. Yeah. So let's say you have a knife and maybe the handle comes off. That oh. area, the area that the handle goes around is called the tang. Oh. Yeah, it, uh, interesting. I, but I remember learning that in in uh, metalwork about he was telling us about chisels, and I remember him saying, "So that, that area that you hold." Also, you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, in Grenada, mm -hmm. um, there's an increase in dengue fevers. Oh, you don't. Like, you know, you sorry, don't like dengue fever cases. You don't like discussing the words, huh? You just switched on me. I said you don't like discussing the words. Oh. No, I thought we were finished. No, no, no. I, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to have people call, and it would have been okay, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you didn't. No, that's what I was telling you. I, I, I would have loved. So, call us if you have okay, any, okay. if you have any interesting words for you know, a lot of things we use. Uh, just a lot of mundane things have words for them, proper words, and most of the, uh, <laughs> no, it is true. You, you times, <laughs> a lot of times, I, I really wanted to know how many persons actually, you know, <laughs> consider these things. Oh. You know what pareidolia is? Is it on the list? No. Pareidolia. No. Pareidolia is when, um, have you ever looked at, uh, say you're just hanging out, daydreaming. Mm -hmm. And maybe, this is an example. You look up at the clouds and you say, oh, that cloud looks like uh, a rabbit. Or, oh. Or it looks like a person. Or maybe at night. It's when you allow your imagination to wander. Actually, um, no, not mm -hmm. exactly. You see what happened. Mm -hmm. The human brain, the way the human brain works, it tries to make sense out of ch chaotic pat. Well, maybe we shouldn't call them patterns, but chaotic um, yeah. input. Yeah. And it tries to br it tries to bring some kind of order to it. So it tries to arrive at the the closest approximation. You've never, for example, in the dark, and maybe you're walking and it's kind of dark, and there's a tree ahead, and then when you look at the tree, it almost looks like someone is standing there, and then you're like. What's that person doing? And then when you oh, it's a tree, it's a yeah. it's a shrub or something. Yeah. Yeah. Pareidolia. Mm -hmm. it, it, it how it came popular is with um. I don't know if you follow like um, mm -hmm. space science, where you know there 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 are reports that there are like there's ruins on Mars and the Moon and so on. Right? Mm -hmm. Ruin? No, ru I, no, I'm serious. You know, actual ruins. Like yeah, I've seen, I've seen you, man. <laughs> but I remember, you, you ever heard about the, ma the Mars face controversy from back in the 70s? There was a picture, a satellite mm -hmm. picture, that, that a NASA satellite took a picture of Mars, and um, there's an area where there's some things that look a lot like, not look a lot, like pyramids and stuff. And that one particular feature looks like a, f a, a thing, and then that's, the scientists say, oh, that's just pareidolia. Um, we, see, we see this formation, and and our brain makes it look like a face which you know <laughs> yeah i mean you're talking these things but i i do think that you know there's sense in those because i do uh you know it's basically like documentaries and so that talks about the power of the human mind it's things that we could relate to at a lot of times even you know words um yeah you could able to sometime on memory just looking at the first and last letter we're able to recall the words we don't really sound out the words all the time mm -hmm. you know only perhaps if it's new words yeah yeah you know that you know the hole that your eye in is called i learned this one in boy school the, the from what? obadiah williams the what the hole mm -hmm. that your eyes in in the skull it has it has a name yeah what's the name the orbit yeah. You probably knew yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I heard that uh -huh. one before. Yeah. I heard that one before. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it's interesting the things that you don't consider from. Yeah, a, yeah. At a day to day basis. Yeah. In terms of words and, and, and the like. You know? For example, this is a, a bug. Mm -hmm. What is this silver thing called? I don't know. Actually, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. That's a good question. I mean, this is the cup. I don't know. Is it? We call this. Is it the a bulb? Is a bulb a bulb ferru? I have no idea. This uh, but is but a, my logic, is, but my logic isn't isn't unsound, right? English mm -hmm. is t is too wide a, a language. <laughs> what, about the cup? what about what's this? The handle. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's 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 this? The rim. Okay. 
What's this? I guess that's the base. Okay, yeah. those are the things but, uh, that but I those, had in mind but, too. But then, yeah, because those <laughs> are just as valid as the, the, the more obscure then, words, right? But, but who's to say that there's not a more... A more fancy word. Yeah, right? Maybe sophisticated. Not I know what you mean, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> or, 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 or more, you know... I know what you mean. A, a terminology for these things, you know? I mean, it's like... Um, I'm trying to think of... I'm try, I was trying to think of one. Uh... Callers, don't forget, uh, we had two people calling, and then when I went, there was nothing. So, 466-0989, 662-0989, Some words that you, um, you know, kind of like obscure, semi-obscure words for stuff that we probably don't think about. You know, for example, we'll just see, um, we'll just see the, the, the car door. We'll just see, okay, like, uh, like a car. Mm-hmm. You know, the pillar that goes... The pillar by the front door. Yes. I call it the A pillar. It's like the one that goes down by the, the windscreen. And I think the, the middle one is called the B pillar, if I think. Mm-hmm. If I, if I'm, but yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't think about. Mm-hmm. I think we, there's a name for that, really. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we could take a short break, Jamster, and get back. It's uh, 8.31. And there is no, um, there's no point on the street this morning, Mr. Springer is hanging out in the U.S. Oh, awesome. We're different. We're 98.9. 98.9. Win FM. You ever hear Earthquake call and say, Hello, Miss Lee. Yes, it's me, Earthquake. I come in Tuesday around 10. No, sir. Earthquake does arrive unannounced. And when it come, it shake all sense and sensibility out of we. Remain calm, stay inside, and do the DCH. Drop, cover, hold on. Once the shaking starts, you know it's earthquake. Make a quick move to a safe place. Don't go to the door, we are in the exit. Stairs might broke up or full of people. Elevator, avoid that because you might get in and poof, power gone, and you're stuck in that box without ear. Take cover under a strong table or a bed or crouch against an inside wall or in a corner and cover your face and your head with your arms. Remember, DCH, drop, cover, hold on. Glass windows and doors, outside walls and doors in an earthquake, bad news. Take for yourself. Most injuries during earthquakes happen when something drops and hit people entering or exiting a building. Last thing, nobody run outside and ask, you feel it, you feel it? Remain calm, stay indoors until all the shaking stop and do the DCH. Drop, cover, hold on. This message is sponsored by the Australian government, Oz Aid, and produced by NEMA in collaboration with WinFM. Be a music festival VIP with Skellig. From May 15th to June 16th, clear your bill or make a payment of $500 or more on your arrears and stand a chance to win a VIP entry to the St. Kitts Music Festival. Uh huh. Skellig is giving away two VIP tickets for each night. In addition, one ultimate winner will win transportation to the festival and a pamper me package of up to $200, which can include hair, makeup, massage, manicure, or a pedicure. Drawing will be held on June 19th. Customers should not be in arrears for more than three months. Terms and conditions apply. Skellig, powering the community. Riddle this, riddle that. Horseman's Furniture and Appliances and Ashley Furniture Home Store is again giving away hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash back for free groceries with every higher purchase will be given back this coupon season. Happening now, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash back coupons to all our higher purchase customers this coupon season. Starting now until December 2023, you get absolutely free groceries with every higher purchase at our Horseman's Furniture and Appliances stores on St. Kitts Nevis and our Ashley Home Store on St. Kitts. So riddle this. Where can you get quality furniture and appliances at great prices with a flexible flex play plan and with absolutely free groceries with every higher purchase? Riddle that. Cashback at Horseman Furniture and Appliances on St. Kitts Nevis and our Ashley Home Store on St. Kitts. Riddle this. Riddle that. Horseman Furniture and Appliances and Ashley Furniture Home Store is giving you over a quarter million dollars in cash back and a chance to win free groceries for a year. Riddle that cash back. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. So who you left the kids with tonight? Nobody. They're big enough to take care of themselves. Girl, you mad? Junior only seven years old. And suppose something happened to the baby while you're out here? My mother was leaving me home by myself since I five. He can handle it. Nothing gonna happen. This don't feel right. Call and check on them. Look, 
I work hard all week. I deserve this break. Besides, they're good. Hello? Leaving underage children at home by themselves is child neglect. Need support? See if another family member or a trusted neighbour can help. This message brought to you by UNICEF, UK Aid, Crime Stoppers and this station. It's uh, 8.36, Island T. We uh, continue. And uh, just, just letting you guys know, we have, uh, we're have we going to have a Sankey's Music Festival uh, official joining me during the spin cycle this morning. Um, short, you know, just uh, a short, just a, a, a brief uh, bring you up to speed on preparations for the upcoming Sankey's Music Festival later on this month. AZ. Yeah, here, um, I know I talk about the, the, the topic about the five signs your partner is gaslighting you, but I see here there is something, a new feature on your WhatsApp that says keep the most intimate messages secret with your WhatsApp new feature. So Really? Yeah, so apparently mm. um, feel free to hold your, your phone to friends, family, or your partner without worrying about them reading private or confidential messages. How? How, how, how does that work? You seem very interested in No, this. no, no. <laughs> well, no, because actually it's funny that you brought that up because uh -huh. I was saying I, I needed to start adding some tech news because mm -hmm. there was, they added a new feature last week, but I don't remember what it is. I, and that it wasn't that. So this must be another feature again. But you know, when they, you know that the person add or your partner, it has me thinking, oh, secrets, you know what I mean? So... Apparently, WhatsApp officially introduced its new chat lock feature on May 15th mm -hmm. with the assurance that your most intimate and private conversations are protected behind one more layer of security. I don't know how that works. Yeah, so... So I guess you're going to have to maybe... The, uh, certain people you figure you're going to be having, um, let's say... <laughs> confidential <laughs> information. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Or you're and having racy conversations with, and then maybe you have a, you have an SO, as in a <laughs> significant other, and you don't want them to get jealous. Mm. They say, hey, should we just, you know. What, just what, what is WhatsApp um, encouraging? I wouldn't put it that way. They're just being practical. <laughs> you, you ever heard about the picture lockers that you can get, you can download? A photo locker. It's like you can download an app where, for example, say you have like, um, you have nude photos and so on mm -hmm. your phone mm -hmm. and uh, like I have a friend who sends me nude photos all the time right so um, sometimes uh, no we're adults here come on okay go ahead, Jam, so I, go ahead. I'm not the Pope <laughs> I understand I'm not understand. even one of his cardinals <laughs> or his janitor yes. so you know so my point is mm -hmm. like uh, you have those pictures and did someone came up with this idea well how about should you have this uh, a, a, a locker where you can put the pictures in and if someone happens to go in your phone, mm -hmm. it's a innocuous thing. It might look like a, a Wikipedia light or mm -hmm. something. So you <laughs> and know, saying somebody, you know oh, I don't want to see. Huh? You know what I'm interested. You know what intrigued me? Mm -hmm. You know about the photo locker. Mm -hmm. But just yesterday, or the day but before. the thing is, even if somebody knows the photo locker is there and they try to get in, they can't get in because you have a no, code. I was going to mm -hmm. I was going to say, you know, yeah. about the photo locker, but mm -hmm. we were talking about status status the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, no, but, but we see. I, I find that the social media companies, there's one mistake mm -hmm. that a lot of them do. They roll out features and they don't tell. Mm -hmm. they don't, a lot of times, they don't explain to you how to use them. Yeah, well, they say you can lock a no. chat by tapping the name of a one-to-one -one or a group or and by selecting the lock option. To reveal these chats, slowly pull down on your inbox oh. and enter your password. Oh, okay. So WhatsApp says that over the couple months, they will be adding more options 
to the chat lock feature, including locks for companion devices and creating a custom password for your chat. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, 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 that could work. Mm, let's, see what this, let's see what this call answer yeah. is. Call uh, go right ahead. Good yeah. morning. Hey, good morning. First, I want to ask you something. And, you know, think about it. There is this ad you play mm-hmm. all the time about mm. um, drop, cover, hold on. Hold on, yeah. My question is, in Turkey, would that have been applicable? Because this come like a perfect plaster and it is not true. I said to my children, find the closest open area, run in the park. Yeah, that's a very good point. There was an earthquake in Mexico a couple of years ago. The children were told to drop cover and hold on. And when the business, the building collapsed, many of them were crushed under the desk. I just can't hold up too much concrete, you know, so I may get True. that. <laughs> True. Anyway, True. I'm going to move on. Very good point, actually. Smart. We're pushing smart. We hear smart house. We hear smart hospital. Smart is S, sustainability. M, mobility. A, assessing. R, rating. T, for tracking. A smart house is a digital house. The house practically controls all the appliances, everything, I mean, weather, entertainment, even access. See, I'm thinking as smart with all these GL2. I really want to know if we understand what we be doing and saying. People in the world fighting against these smart things, and we on the radio every day about advertising, about go get your smart house. I don't think we really, as a people, Pay attention and understand the meaning of the things we are hearing so we can know if we're going to repeat, how to repeat. We can't just go on and say smart house and smart this. We're putting ourselves in prisons. The, 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 the bill that, was, that uh, was exercised to lock us down, 20 2019, 2020, was passed by Labour in 2006. We got to pay attention to the words and what we're saying here. Mm. When we're saying smart, know what we're saying, know exactly what narrative we're pushing. And the job cover all on, they need to do with that. <laughs> yeah, so mean, they, yeah they, 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 he's right. They do need to expand the, mm-hmm. um, let's say, the 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 the, 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 gone, the palette there, of yeah. instructions yeah he's gone oh. the, he's right because um let's say this building for mm-hmm. example if we had an earthquake um the drop cover hold on thing might not really i, I see what he's saying mm-hmm. you, you in other words they need to like i said expand the palette of instructions because certain certain building designs don't really lend themselves to your safety if you're going to just drop cover and hold on. I know so he, mean, I see what he means the lock-up story during the pandemic. Meaning That's what? what he said? Oh, you mean... He said something about that. No, I mean, he didn't think that that was... Mm. Like, it was ill-advised, you mean? No, he's, I think... Well, I just, uh, just to confirm, I mean, mm-hmm. um, the Constitution <coughs> provides for s- some of our rights to be restricted in during a state oh, of emergency. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. would have been the reason... Yeah. Um, why the government was able to, yeah. um, to you, know, you know, have <laughs> that in place. Uh, so I just, wanted, know, to, I just I wanted to clear up that. I know. I, 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 get, I, I get a lot of amusement from conspiracy theorists, especially the American ones, you know, when during, during mm-hmm. COVID and, and they say, oh, yes, yeah, it's an excuse for them to take away our guns and blah, blah, blah. Call you're on here. Go ahead. Greetings, Alan T. Hey, Greetings. what's up? 
Tan spio si chiedi. Di ieri, basta. Words, words. You know, you know the conclusion um, of a reasoning that started um, on this program, where you do each two other programs. And the conclusion is <clears throat> to with someone else's view is that it's not the words, the lyrics in songs or poetry or a movie or whatever that influence people even if the words them is not pretty. They're not smith right. Them are them them is words that that that, that can um beget violence or there is violent words. What we call um, polite violence, part of the polite violence, what the tongue, what the tongue execute. It is said that it is not so. Um, it is people's choices because sometimes all the people them will use the word like the, like the, the person in, in reasoning was Byron. Mm -hmm. They say Byron no kill nobody. In no, in no, in the bus no gun. So therefore, in innocent within the scheme of things, he his lyrics is just reflecting what the society is plagued with. Yeah, but why can't his why can't his lyrics um, inspire or even model? But, but why he, can't they model? Why model yeah. and well, inspire? Why, in, why, why should it I mean, always again, be? And then why should it always reflect the, the negative stuff? Yeah, I mean this. Are, <laughs> Good question. I mean, again, the the success is really good. The success is really good. But yeah, when you absolutely. look at when you look at the lyrics of this song and the traction, So, but yeah. when you look at the lyrics, and to be completely honest, it, it is the, the promotion of gun violence. But then you look and see um, that there's an attraction for that, and then you you say, this is where it is because if it is that there's an attraction for that the gun violence, it means that in our communities, our young people, they are, they, we, we have a situation with the escalation of crime. We have a situation where um, crime is now, you know, and, uh, and you see, and, but then when you see the music too and the, the, the attraction to it, you see the reason why. No, but, 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 but hear this, hear the argument. It is said, because we, we, we examine everything, you know. It is said that is not that. What the lyrics are doing mm -hmm. is merely reflecting what is happening. It, it is not, it is not, um, it is not, um, it, it, no one. Okay. The, 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 the 10,000 people that are up the lighter, perhaps in that 10,000 people, yeah, put mm -hmm. them kind of lyrics. In that 10,000 audience, you find about five or one will get influenced. The 20 million on social media that big enough, you'll find out of the 20 million, you'll find about 10 people prone to, 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 um, to follow them kind okay. of. But let me, let, um, me, let me make that point. No, let me make that point. Even if that is true, even that is yeah. true, let us look at this now. The fire that started in Guyana. It was started by one person. It resulted yeah. in the death of 20 individuals. And now it is so a tragedy far. for an yeah. entire nation. So even if we are going to take that point, that the music may only influence that one person, that one person can cause so much damage to the lives yeah, and families of yeah. others, that, that, yeah. that one person is significant. Yes, but truly, I'm but isn't it pushing that, you know? Because it is said right across the board that these lyrics, right? But, uh, Elder, not, uh, yes. Elder, I would, I, and again, I would somewhat disagree with um, the underestimation of lyrics because words, I think, have power. If you have something that's in your mind, the words are playing in your mind all the time, all your time. And again, we have different persons who have different influences. Something, something someone said to you might not affect me. But we have different people mm -hmm. around in society, and different things trigger different people. I agree. 
But um, that's a good point. But uh, <laughs> I think that the point we are, we tend to ignore mm-hmm. is the fact that, yeah, p- yeah, that point mm-hmm. is is valid. But why must the, the music always ref- when when wh- when are we gonna get more balance where the music is going to reflect s- the positive? Uh, are the music the is go- that yes. in our midst. Yeah. yeah. Why is it always yeah. have to reflect the bad stuff? But then it shows you the attraction and, and it shows uh, you And why is that? <laughs> what, that that's something that's something we need to drill down on. What is this um perverse attraction to to the gangster ne- lifestyle? Negativity lifestyle. And, 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 and 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 dark, you know, these these the dark themes that we sing in the music, like especially stuff coming out of the, the stuff that they're calling Jam- um dance hall, Jamaican dance hall now. What is mm-hmm. what is so why what we want to we want to quickly move on lyrics yeah. that is degrading to women right yes mm-hmm. um women private parts etc um so what we say that um those lyrics um don't move no one to diss a woman or rape a woman it is in the person's mind do so if they do so but the the lyrics that come from a song that say blah 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 boom boom about a woman have nothing to do with with a pervert with someone who will do xyz the lyrics have nothing to do with that you believe that i start you believe no. that religion? if you if you have a if you um, have if you have a let's say you have music right and the music yes. from since a child You've been hearing through lyrical um, content, um, you know, through the lyrics, sorry, um, that an individual, let's say that women are, you know, are, are, are trash or something like that, and you're hearing it over and over being played in the music, being played, being played. Wouldn't you think that persons, uh, maybe not everybody, but a, sig- a good amount of people might be start thinking that, and start believing, and then you're you're repeating those words, so it has a spill-off effect. You're hearing that music, so it has a spill-off effect. I think I think words are powerful. I think words are powerful. Well, but it is say, it is say, it is said that the words them from the the lyrical contents have nothing to do with with what people are doing. People are doing what they are doing because it is it is in their mind that the choice they make. No one is influencing them. No lyrics can influence them, and etc. Uh, uh, etc. Et so 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 the debate goes on. We just want to put it out there, you know, because me a writer. Yeah. I am I am a, I I smith words, mm. and I've been doing it from the age of seven. Yeah, I am. I I I I've had we've added um. We've added um, uh, almost a uh, uh, full score to that seven. <laughs> and all, all we do concerning our, 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 our um, desire to smith words is elevate on that, on that skill, yeah? And try to keep it positive. Now, you, you, you have people who smith words, because you just said a while ago, words are very powerful. They said, it is even said biblically that, um, Word was spoken and creation happened. I mean, if it is really that these lyrical contents, um, whether it's in Jamaica, or think it's uh, Antigua, whatever, have nothing to do with, with 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 actions people would take negatively. Well, all I have to say is um. I mean, the, the words, well, <laughs> well I mean, me don't know what to say. I, 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 I run out of words. <laughs> no, you I run out of words, really. I, I always... mean, the debate continues. I, I, I am, I, uh, we are holding on to, right? The, 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 we, we are holding on to this transformation that these lyrics, somewhere along the line, they they are not just um they are not just reflecting what is happening in our midst, but they are also promoting and encouraging innocent minds. 
mm-hmm. to partake, to bring, to bring, to to put flesh on those words. Um, Elder, I, I agree because let's look at it at um, historical context. Um, when yeah. when wars started, when when empires were going to war, they would listen from yeah. the message from the king or the queen, whoever is there. They would inspire their their, their army to to go forward to be victorious. They would inspire their army to to do what it Propaganda, takes. Whatever. You understand? So words have impact. Yeah. Look at look at Martha. Look at King. Look at Obama. Look at the words that. All they did, all they did was spoke, was speak. Sorry, all they did was speak, and we were, we were able in two thousand and eight, and I think even here in the Caribbean, we were greatly affected by the words of President Obama when he talked about change, when he talked about you know, and the way in which he presented himself, and the, just throughout the Caribbean, even uh, even though he's in America and it was an American election here in the Caribbean, we felt because. 2000, I was like 19. We felt this, this, this. Wow, this is a change that is coming. So words have yes, impact. We can. Yes, we can. Yes, yes we, we can. can. Yes, we can. So you see, and then so words have the, the the power to inspire. And if words have the power to inspire, it has the power to also incite. The opposite. The opposite. <laughs> oh, although, although. <laughs> Although I don't like how you are uh, pejoratizing the word inspire, because inspire is a neutral word. It can, it yeah, can, it can go right? both ways. Yeah, yeah. Guy can inspire you to yes. kill, inspire yes. you to love. Yes, yes, love. yes, yes. Indeed. Yes, yes well, <laughs> the myth continues. So, so you talk about words, you play with words, some man, let me just say, <laughs> let me just bring in this year, what will what take place after. Yeah, sometimes, because, sometimes yeah, you're, it's here. That means, yeah. Sometimes you're, sometimes you're angry at a situation and it just takes yeah. someone to say a few words to you. And it might be in a different way than the other people have said words. And by your, 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 your demeanor just changes, the way in which you... It just changes. So I think that words are, are powerful because the power of a voice, I think, could never be no, underestimated. You're right because, okay, you know, and, you know, I... and. I'm going to say it again. And, I, you know, I said it yesterday on Voices. As a DJ, I'm very conflicted about... Um, <sighs> I'm very conflicted about critiquing artistic expression. Because I, I am big about... I am big about let the artist do their thing. Artistic license, blah, blah, blah. I'm big on that. Poetic license, all of that. But... Yeah. Um, you know, it it doesn't escape me that, I, I mean, Elder, I was talking to our friend yesterday afternoon about the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't it, it it doesn't escape me that, um, for example, uh, look at it. Here we have this guy assigned to a huge record label, the record label that gave us Black Eyed Peas and Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and 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 um, these yeah. huge mega million artists they're yeah. signed by they, he signed to i mean that's a big big deal but look at yeah. look at the subject matter that it took to get over yeah. on on youtube yeah. where where you see these massive numbers which we usually don't see for uh oh. kitchen artists i mean a mm. typical kitchen artist if they have 1500 yeah. views they have a lot mm-hmm. you, know, you know what i mean yeah i know what i mean so <laughs> so yeah so so it makes you think like what is the attraction to the negative and the the violent and the prurient and the yeah the ra- the racy lyrics what? and the disrespect what? for women i'm not saying i'm not saying byron is about that i'm just yeah. talking I know general. you generally yeah mm-hmm. and of course this isn't about his success because we're happy for his success so i want to make that clear we're happy that he's successful in what he's doing because he's promoting saying it's clear. Um, but we're um, talking um, about it, it, is said, yeah. it is said that um they are they are the lyrical contents I keep repeating it, you know. The lyrical contents are just reflecting what is happening in our midst. That's yeah. what it is said. And, and it that's is a couple. It is just expressing yeah. what is happening. I'm sorry, that's a couple. I will never accept that excuse. But, but, eh? I never. I don't. I don't think Elder is saying that he's right. Yeah, I know. I, know. I think he's I just that. saying yeah, that. Yeah, he's saying it, but I'm but, telling him. And that's a sad reality, though. Right? It shows that that people. Right. You know, this is not, not it's a lazy excuse. Here. 
I don't mm. take my side, you know. I don't take my side a long time ago, you know. Yeah. The book of James, a book in the Bible, the short, I think it's the shortest book in the Bible. I think it's two, two, two pages. The book of James says that the tongue, the tongue, they, 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 they refer to it as the smallest member of the body. They say the tongue, no easy, the thing them what tongue can do. Hey, so me don't take me side and no say that same when you can reflect the negative things in your song or your poetry or your movie or your, your play. The same when you can reflect, eh? The negative things were happening with me, right? Which is unwanted. We don't want them in the earth. We don't want them in the sinkers, we don't want them in the earth. Isn't it? The same way you can reflect that in your, in your artistry. You, when you don't reflect the, 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 the goody, goody, positive things, them who are going in the mid. I mean, take for example, there's your, there's your, there's your, there's your, well, um, yeah, there's your as well. But take for example, um, what's his name? What's it? Infamous. Mm. That song. Thank it's Yeah, I love. No, that mm-hmm. song had every right to be just as huge i mean it was huge here but mm-hmm. why is it why is it that that why is it it's the negative stuff that gets traction you know what Chai? so go wrong so go wrong there's, uh, there's some conspire blind somewhere somewhere some conspire blind are going towards making the, the, the society becomes more rot. yeah why? There's some conspire blind or go on. Why? I love... So you just talk about um, yes. Informa, and I can... B- b- Banky come to mind just Banky. a while ago too. Masu, yeah? Kushal yeah. Banky. Kushal Banky. Kushal Banky. Smith words in some kind of ways that... When me there Jamaica, you know, and me start to play a Kushal Banky, you know, around the big entertainers, you know. Yes, you drop a pin. Everybody stop me whatever they do. Each other, who that? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Lyrical content, up, up. But look at what? Look at the lyrical content. Look at the kind of things that is making it. Making it and with millions. And Elder, Elder, there's one point I want to make about words again. And as I mm-hmm. check this out, I thought about it yesterday. Yeah. Look at the last name he's using, his, his stage name. Messiah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing messianic. There's nothing. What, what mes- is it? What is it? Messiah. That that's a that's a that's a very ah, that is a very heavy what word. A proper name. Yes, that is a very heavy what word to be using name? when you're singing with that kind of what subject matter. A name? Messiah. That's almost that borders on blasphemy, actually. <laughs> no, it does. Yeah, I do. uh, let, let's yeah. be real. Yeah. Right. Yes. That it express express in accordance. With your name. Yeah? Mm. Byron Mafia Mafia might have been more appropriate. It would have been you yeah, know, that Mafia. I'm ba- ba- Byron. for um <laughs> Messiah for <laughs> they must tell him. They must tell him management. Change Messiah to Mafia. Yeah, because I mean and I'm not being yeah. I'm not being um not being flip or, or anything. I'm just because I talked no, about no, it yesterday. Not. Maybe just yeah. be realistic. Um and um and um even though there's acknowledgement from other side that this is gangster, um, terrible lyrics, right? Um, they say the still of it, and um, it's welcome. It 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 it, 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 it welcome in the men and be good to go. Um. And, uh, yeah, I want. I mean, I'm, I, 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 I do know what's going on. I, 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 yeah. I, know I, go, I lost two words. I love, I love, I love that the cat is getting over. You know, um, mm-hmm. his, 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 his. I mean, finally we have an Eskin artist actually getting some police. Mm-hmm. But all, I, all, with that. all I would love to is see, that, I would love to see some balance as far as um, yeah, his, his, yeah, his lyrics. That's all. I mean, I, I, I'm not telling him what to sing, but. You know, like you guys said, we no, not, not, can't dictate people like. Yeah, um, and this this kind of. About that too. Yeah. I'm talking about that. What come out of this reasoning too is my my stand, my cry for the polite violence in our midst, 
to be no more because it it leads to bloody, cold blooded, blood shedding, blood shedding violence. But um it is, is it said that um masters have the best vocabulary you know. <laughs> Conspire blind <laughs> polite violence. I love it. Mm-hmm. They don't see. They don't get to see when it, when it's a conspire. When it's something conspired, you don't see nothing. It's blind. True. Why it's they true. Are doing it? It's true. They are blind it's because true. their intention is not good. So they they no they see in conspiracy. It's conspire blind. Definitely. So. True. It's word sound, you know. True. It's word sound. Just like how Rastafari would say, overstand. Will you speaking to me? And I. I I I and I, I comprehend what you're saying. I understand it. We're using the word understand. Why going on the far? Sure. I got to elevate my thoughts, my my mental faculty to comprehend what you're saying. So there's nothing under. It's over. I have to go up in order to you know fathom what 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 is going on here. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible, but I, re- I wish all of us all the best. I wish Earth all the best, but the, way, the, 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 the direction that Earth is going, Mm-mm, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Blessed okay. love. Okay, great. Okay, so call us if you want to call. You can always call. Um, AZ, okay? Mm, I'm yeah, good. Okay. I'm just reflecting. Uh, it's... Um, you know, and, and, and you know, we're going to just hope we... Hey, <laughs> um, I expect to get some kind of hate for <laughs> what I said, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Island to you're on again. Hey, no, if these things does not affect us as the lyrics and so forth and so forth. I am asking a question. Why does anybody advertise anything? Mm-hmm. What is the reason for advertising these things? On the radio, we hear them ringing in the head. Yeah. On the TV. I mean, in every media. The real purpose is to advertise. That's how the money is made. Why these people with the businesses... Spend money to have you, the media personal, repeat what they're selling, what they're doing, or the purpose of the business. Mm -hmm. A child born in Russia would talk what language? Russian. A child born in St. Kitts. A child born in China, Germany. Or any other country, mm-hmm. what language would that person grow up speaking? We're talking the influence. The language of the, the parents in a house. Them. Why is it certain things is only for big people? Mm-hmm. Whether it is words or action, it is the influence, <laughs> the media, the purpose. At the media okay. is to sell whatever narrative, yeah. like the, the COVID vaccine, to sell that. I'm going to finish and I answer yeah, you. You ask. Okay. Yeah, about the I, I have bill, a call. What I was referring to, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was the medical bill that gave the government the right to this vaccine thing that we had to take to lock down. It was that health bill. Past 206 by the Labour government. It is those legislations that was then exercised in 2019, 2020. But, but Carla, you, 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 the, 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 the Carla, Carla, state emergency, yes. Yeah, you realize that the, it's the Constitution, basically, because um, we have... It is not the Constitution. Carla, it was the, the, an amendment or something that they put in. Yes. But listen, but listen. What I'm saying, listen, um, that was not until 2006. What happened then would not have happened. We have the constitu- constitutional right for freedom of movement, if that is what you're talking about. Freedom of movement is a constitutional no. right. 
are talking about the whole vaccine lockdown turn where can go work. All that transpired then. The government didn't get up then and say, okay, get an emergency. The okay, vaccine, you got to take vaccine. The vaccine was okay, still no, an they didn't do that. Thing. This, these bills that restricted our rights give the government the right to restrict our rights. A, a, a normal, that let me just say. Let to me... imprison ourselves in our houses. No, Carla, Carla. These bills, hello. Carla, an, an act of parliament hello. cannot restrict constitutional rights because an act of parliament is not as. Uh, the Constitution is supreme. So even saying that a bill could restrict our constitutional rights is not sown. A bill cannot no. restrict your, your constitutional rights. Okay, constitutional I'm going to tell you something. Supreme. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, Maz, watch it. He's a lawyer, How so come you're not going to... get locked up for Ganja <laughs> back then? You can't tell him up. we can't get locked up for Ganja. What are you saying? You are not understanding what I am saying. I am saying... Every time the government go and pass a bill is a restriction on our rights. You could have got on there yesterday, you can't go on there today. You could have do this day before you couldn't do this no more. I'm saying the laws that were exercised in 2020 to lock us down, the state emergency, that health bill was passed. Why don't go look for it? In 206. And then you will fully understand what I am saying. I am not talking about I got I got I got copies and copies and copies of the Constitution. So I am defending when everything I say is things that happened that restricted my rights, my actually rights to li and liberty and freedom, your human civil born rights. When you could get turn away if you ain't take a vaccine and nobody could do nothing, when the government could imprison you, make you imprison yourself in your own house, and nobody could do nothing. You recognize when you, you heard you, actually you recognize the world right now movement. I bet you you take the vaccine. Ah, uh, you can travel plenty places. That's what I'm talking about. Me, I ain't got nowhere to go again okay. because me ain't gonna take no injection. That is what I'm saying. How come? The, before 2019, you didn't have to take no vaccine to go to the U.S. There are plenty of players in the world. Now you watch the ministers in um, Dubai, and when they show you the picture, all of them in India wearing fierce masks. I'm saying, them is what I'm talking about. Bless up. Okay. Okay, now uh, uh, let me uh, reiterate something I always say. Um, you know, I, I get um, critiqued for the amount of time people on the phone, but sometimes I wonder if our calls are calling for another dimension because, for example, I'll go to a commercial break and there are like three calls coming in, but then someone is on the phone and nobody's calling. So, you know, <laughs> so callers, remember if, if if okay, let's take this call. Remember, if I take your call, if someone comes in, I'm gonna kick you off. Let's, uh, let's okay. Okay, go ahead. What's up? Yeah, um, I'm just wondering if other countries that are agonizing over this, whether no with this song or with other artists who may have had similar. Um, Meteoric rise, you know. Is it just us? You well, think? Um, I'll, I'll put it this way: um, the places where artists like that uh, uh, thrive and exist in the thousands, they're they're much more they're much more permissive liberal um, societies. They're they're much more desensitized to a lot of the things that would um, make us that would give us pause. So I would say yes and no. There's going to be the small, I think there's going to be the small cohort of people who are going to be like, oh, what is this guy singing, you know? But yeah, I think this I, is new I, to I, us. I suspect, I suspect if we weren't having the problems we were having, this would just pass over in no time. Okay? It, it, you know, so it, it, it suggests that it's 
it's the timing, among other things, that, that may be a problem, right? I mean, the, 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 it's now become almost a phenomenon everywhere. And, um, you know, you compare this to, let's say, the kind of lyrics and music that um, the Tashes and the, the Malis used to give us, which was in its time revolutionary as well, but not as extreme, right? Yeah. Um, well, I imagine... The, the problem is that um, it just takes one deviant mind to do this, well, you know, the kind of copycat kind of thing. Yeah. One deviant mind to, to, to wreak havoc. And that is where, where I think the, the problem comes in. I mean, we, we have to, though, decide that, well, it's just a, a, a hazard, so to speak, that we have to live with, because the other extreme is censorship. And we definitely, well, most of us would argue that that is worse. We don't want to go down there. Absolutely. But I, I, I just raised the issue because um, maybe we should just <laughs> enjoy the moment in the sun. Um, it may pass in um, a few weeks, months. I mean, listen, I'm, I, I'm, I'm probably a hypocrite because I'm talking, but I'm going to play the song. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you don't dare play, you don't dare play the, the oh, unclean version. Yeah, I don't, I don't play the unclean version. I probably I play <laughs> right, it in a exactly. dance, probably. But, yeah. you know, but, but, but the thing is, I guess we have to wait and see if this is a new kind of revolution. Because, I mean, the mere fact that, you know, it, 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 it's such a big phenomenon now, um, you know, you wonder where it ends, right? Is this the version of of um, the other but, types you know, of revolutionary music because I, I got a message. You, you could say yeah. we, we can say that it doesn't affect the masses in the way we think, but it, it in actual fact it does. That that, that is what it, yes really it does. And and, and 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 it's more systemic and systematic than you think because actually I was thinking about it this morning when I was talking to I was telling Azad that it's finally showed up in on one of my record pools yesterday. And that particular, well, all the record pools are, uh, I'm signed up to, when you your music is being um, disseminated by those people, you've arrived. So, um, but one of the things I thought of, and I didn't bring it up because I thought I didn't want to go down that road, but someone sent me a message just now. It said, um, it's a conspiracy to destroy the black race. They found a new messenger. The signing so and the minute. Um, sublim uh, sublim what's yeah. it? Sublimo? Yeah. Well, yeah, but 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 wait, but when he said that, then I said, you know, maybe I should have spoken about what I didn't speak about earlier, which is the fact that I don't know if you you guys might not know this, right? But mm -hmm. this is, I mean, I studied music in college. I did a whole, you know, did music history, and there's a very dark side to. There's a very dark side to the corporate side of black music. I give an example, hip hop. Hip hop started off as a very positive, a very a very positive outlet for black, um, for, 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 for for the artists. I mean, the stuff from the late eighties and nineties was very Afrocentric, very positive, very socially conscious. I mean, very much like what what we consider. It was it was like Bob Marley in right. hip hop. That's what the music really was. And you know what happened? Um, the the heads of the labels decided that they didn't want no and I'm I'm not making this up. This is not this is not a conspiracy theory. This is known fact. They decided that in order to control black people and to keep black people down, I'm just gonna be real. This is not I'm not making this stuff. This is documented stuff. They decided that no, we can't um, mm -hmm. we can't have this positive black music just being put out there. We have to so you have artists, <laughs> I've had artists told me who have the air and our representative will tell them, um, can't you, can't you do a song about like guns and AKs and stuff? I'm not making this up. This is what happens. They do not but that, want. But, but that's still on us, eh? That is yes, still that, on that us. Because is on we us. don't have to follow the corporate thing. I mean, uh, unless we feel that it is so, they're so dominant that they even can control what we put out there, what we, 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 we produce. But, but the, I mean, you can't deny the effect. I mean, if you take even more recent things like um, that song, Get Rid of Them, 
I mean, it, you, 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 might, it, 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 you might not realize the effect it has on the subconscious. Yeah, Everybody the music don't have is to react to extremes with any particular song, but it, it gives a narrative, and um, because it's so popular, right, it, it, all, it makes it almost um, that you have to, to comply Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'd, you, you'd be um, left out kind of thing. And, and you know, that, that, yeah. that's the effect it, I mean, it has. And take, for example, too, here's, here's another twist to it uh, from, the, 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 from the artist standpoint. I remember Lady Saw said, Lady Saw, she's now a Christian. She now runs a church. She dance all artists. And she really rose to fame because she was singing all these really risque mm -hmm. um, dance hall songs. Lady Saw started off singing the same conscious uplifting stuff and the people were ignoring her. And she said, you know what she said? And 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 Ira, to your point, mm -hmm. a lot of artists, they get cynical and they get, hey, listen, I'm not yeah. about that, but that if, if that's what it takes. Lady Saw said she wanted to buy her mother a house. And she said, here, here, here I was singing all this positive stuff and nobody was studying her. She yeah. started to sing about, um, you know, yeah, and, this and, and, and that's that. the whole point. I yes, mean, we're, we're and, too and, easily and, influenced and by to, And to that point, someone, stuff, um, yeah. an artist told me earlier this week that Byron is not even about that stuff in the song. But I guess Byron made the cynical, this, 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 the cynical um, decision that, hey, I got to play the game if I want to be successful. So there's that. Yeah. So it, it makes you wonder about conspiracy theories, really. If there isn't some, some, some group, somebody pulling the string no, the, behind but, the scenes. But, but that's know? what I was just telling you. A lot yeah. of that goes on. The labels do not want, they do not want black people. They try as much as possible to suppress the positive black music. So you really have to, you really, we really have to be uh, thankful that people like Chronix and Kushal Banky and, well, he hasn't risen to that level. But I mean, if Kushal Banky was from Jamaica, he would have been much, much, much bigger. And I'm yeah, telling you, uh, Kushal Banki is way more talented than a lot of those Jamaicans who get, who, he, he, I mean, lyrically and everything else, performance, everything. But the point is, um, a lot of these artists... You have a brand to maintain. Yes, and it, they, these labels are about, they, they're about making money and they feel like they could only make money through negativity and they actually have people telling them, no, we don't, we, we can't have black people thinking consciously. We have to... Make, have them singing garbage. I mean, there is a song right now with that. There's this chick. I haven't downloaded it because I said, there's no way I'm playing that. There's this song, a, a female rapper, and she's. <laughs> I can't even tell you what she's singing about. The song is called Pound Town, right? Mm -hmm. And if you know, if you know any, if you know any African American uh, vernacular English, um, Ira, you can go to um. Go to Urban Dictionary and look up Pound Town. And you see what it means. And you should hear the lyrics. And I'm like, how could anyone? I mean, <laughs> you know? Well, no, you see the, but, but you see the thing. If, for instance, I ask you, you t take even the um, Taliban song, right? Yeah. You, if I were to ask you exactly what is the theme, yes, you might say, well, it, it's gangster. It, it, it's a gangster theme. Right, but you can pull lines from the lyrics. I mean, politicians who we vote out, um, uh, um, what is badness we endorse? You know, mm. th those kinds of things, those kinds of of, but of, you of see, lines. Music is powerful. Separated from the song, because you see, if you were to look at the overall uh -huh. theme of the song, maybe it is just a protest song. You know, you 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 don't like what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. But you have to explain it, um, and and as a protest song, you know you start to wonder: Well, is there an overarching theme to this that we're not tolerating? Um, in a, it, it's a strange kind of reflex, but we're not tolerating badness, we, and we, and the way we're going to deal with it is become more bad. Mm -hmm. But you Mr. McMahon, look at it too. Um, when you have political campaigns, well, in the Caribbean, think it's for example, um, the, every time there's a catchphrase that a, one of the members on the platform says, there's a musical accompaniment 
a song that tries to boost up the crowd, right. that tries to inspire the crowd, had music and words not been powerful, that would not be a, such a yeah, strong feature. Be, be, because they always try to include um, something from the pop culture zeitgeist mm -hmm. in, their, in their campaigning. Like when Douglas, know, it's when, it's when it's Douglas it's did the um, Mongo Honor of the yeah. Bad For Me Boy, yeah. which you know, I thought was in poor taste. And, then, and during, during the firing, world was ever since, or yeah. when? And then during you know, the firing, um, you know, when the PLP was on the platform, um, I think I could recall when um, the then Prime Minister Timothy Harris asked, they had a DJ, they asked Barry what we did to them. And then he played that song saying, we send them home. So you see, the music again, um, yeah. it, 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 it's used to inspire, to create. So yeah. When you say that lyrics and words and music don't have power, I, I disagree. Because then it, it, it encourages you, it gives you that fire. Who says that? Nobody can say that, really. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that, that, that to me is obvious, that music and words do have power. Mm -hmm. right? you, you look... Look, you look at one of the of any of the performance the f performances now with that song, and you see all you see is a mass of people, you know, with the raving, with their phone lights on and so on, right? And 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 you think almost like cult. This is a, like a cult ceremony, you know, where you have a mass of people all in unison following. Um, Following, uh, well, basically worshiping the song, right? And <laughs> I don't know. I, I, maybe it's me. I generally have a fear of of a mass of people all saying the same thing. It's good when it, that same thing is, is 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 good. Maybe like for a mega church or something. But when it is bad, <laughs> it can be really bad. And I think that is the, 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 the um, shall we say, the tragedy here, in that um, what is being portrayed is bad. And it don't have to, everybody is not going to take it to the extreme, but um, one or two might and have a really multiplying bad result, okay? And not only that. The mass of people would suddenly realize, well, um, it's okay to do this. And next thing you have is a whole stream of copycats trying to mimic what has happened. Okay? You know, in other words, the end justifies the means. You know, and, you, 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 and, and that is what, <laughs> that's the danger, I think, that is here. You know, I, I, like I said, I don't know if other mm -hmm. places agonize over this. And maybe we... I think I think uh, I think they're past. Out of proportion. They're far they're far past the point of agonizing because it's not new to them like it is to us, as far as our artists. So yeah. Yeah, but we're small. Well, yeah, <laughs> we're, that, but we're small, yeah. you know. So this this is this this is a big thing for us, right? And um, you know, we, we we have to somehow be prepared to handle it like the big boys, so to speak. You know, um, it, it's harder to dilute when we're such a small place. Um, the big places, sure, you know, you have a whole lot of other people who are, and, and um, a whole lot of distractions and diversions mm -hmm. that can take care. One of thing is for sure, um, and we all know, one thing is for sure, dude is smiling, smiling on the way to the bank right now. So <laughs> um, as far as he con he's concerned, we can say what we like. Sure, well, well, well of course. <laughs> He, he, like he you said, the ends he, he, the ends justify the means, like you said. So you yeah, know. you know, and and, and, and I, I, that that works for him, right? But um, you know, the poor. The, 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 okay, the Ira, I'm gonna kick you off now. There, I'm, gonna have kick, a problem. I'm gonna kick you off. You have to call back. I have yeah, another call. Okay, yeah. Then. Okay. Um, okay. That person. Okay, call you. You can call back now. Remember, uh, I'm, I always try to take the calls. That sometimes you all. You all uh, call at the wrong time. Okay, here we go. It's a 929. Go ahead, caller. Hey, good morning. Hey, good, good morning. morning. And how is everybody? Awesome. We how are, are good. You? How are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm doing good. Yes, um, I'm happy that you addressed that part with the corporate media um, music industry area. Oh, believe me. I, I can tell you stories. 
sorry? I was saying, believe me, I could tell you stories. I, I'm talking firsthand um, stories, too. Yes, 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 because I thought, well, by now, our people are aware of what's going on in the industry, the music industry. You see? But I, I, I had to run away to get to do whatever and so so I was not really listening. So I said, let me steal a few minutes and see if I can get in. But that, that's what it is. Now, the views. Now, I have not really heard the song that they're talking about, really, especially in its raw, in its raw version. So I don't know what they're talking about. But I've heard persons talk about the views that he got. And let me say to all of us, don't ever be fooled. Those views are not real. They are hyperinflated, overinflated, however we want to put it. They're not real. Because you cannot tell me that our artist is known so much on the international scene that you have this one song that is there on YouTube. It's put out. Maybe it was not even advertising mainstream me um, media. It's on there. Okay. How is he known to that extent that people will go on YouTube and pull up that song, that oh, particular uh, well, song? I should. What I should tell you though, um, this for people who don't know how this works, um, he signed to uh, a Trinidadian um, management house, and they 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 these guys are pretty good. So that's that's a big part of it. Mm. So it's not a matter of uh, him just. Oh, Byron Messiah from St. Kitts and oh, let me put this song. It doesn't work like that. He has he has a pretty good team behind him. So yeah, I just yeah, I, to, under, yeah. I understand mm -hmm. all of that. I understand all of that. But what I'm saying, I don't think he is internationally renowned that way. For his views to go to how many more than what fifteen million in a short space of time? No. Like you said. And I'm here to reiterate it. Hip hop, rap, and all of that raised a lot of black children in America back in the day. It had a lot of positive things to that. Right? And the conspiracy, whatever we want to, however some people want to put it, but it is real. You had families intact. You had black men loving their black women and looking after their children. And they said, no, 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 no. We can't afford to have this. And when they started to corrupt and pollute rap, hip hop, and all of that, the black community did not know what was happening. And they thought, well, oh, me, um, our young men have switched on us. Look at how, look at the, the, the rogatory words they're using to describe our women. Look at how they're tearing down. And a lot of them came out and see how those people slick, you know, terrible, you know, had our. People in the forefront say, at press conference and have our people there bashing these black artists when they fully well know that they were behind of it until that information came out where one of them spoke up and said what they actually did. Some of the black people hang their head in shame because they really behave badly. But I mean, we could say what we want, but if you're going to have a young man who is talented like that and his only way out is to use that talent to sing. He has a choice. I mean, do I refuse to sing these kind of lyrics and not really earn an income? Do I leave it and then I have nothing else to do? There's no work, there's nothing and whatsoever. So, so you know, and some of them just tell themselves, you know, let, let, let me sing it and hope against hope that even though, yes, I sing it, our people will be in a position that they will make the right decision. But no, that's not so. Music and words are very powerful. They are very powerful. Go and ask any Jamaican if you think I'm lying. Back in the day, all of these, a lot of these talk wars and so on were started by a lot of these artists because of, of their songs. They're on stage and they're singing and, and big war started 
by this artist against this artist. When people are faced with um, a situation where they have to choose, I mean, we can say whatever we like. Just what? In our immediate past, you remember the, 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 the substance there for the COVID? Mm -hmm. if you, <laughs> look, if you don't take it, no job, no job. Look at what happened. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, okay. So I agree with you, and I'm happy that you brought it out. It's yeah. a conspiracy. I have seen a lot of um, excellent, positive things put forward by black creators and content makers. And if you see the views, and people are looking at them, so they suppress and oppress a lot of these views and certain cont um, comments. And you know, the funny thing, what they do is, for plausible deniability, they always let a few of the, the right. quote-unquote wholesome ones get through, like coffee and chronics and, you know. They let right. It, so then they can say, well, no, look, we, we, look, look at how big chronics is or look at how big this person is. Right. You know? So who, who isn't aware of what is really going on? They will be deceived. And they are the ones who will come out and try to defend in the opposite. You see? So it is a lot of um, a lot of these things that we see concerning um, us, you know, is, is a lot of false narrative that is put out there. Alternative facts based on a lot of false narratives. You see? Well, anyways. Okay. I don't yeah. know if I will be able to continue listening, okay, but, but I'm but, happy um, that I get the chance to put in. And well, you all well, have a blessing. Yeah, yeah jo thank well, join you so me, much. Join me during the 10 o'clock hour. I'm, I'm gonna, I got the, 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 the song yesterday, finally. Um, mm -hmm. So that dude really has arrived, because where I got the song from, if you're getting music from them, you have arrived. So, so me? If you, yeah, so if you want to listen between 10 and 11 to the spin cycle, you hear it. The okay, clean, but, the, but, the clean but, version, but, of but course. But listen, before I go, <laughs> finally, but listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I hope that this guy will not be used as an instrument of destruction against his own people. Because a lot of times our people feel like we have not arrived until our name is mentioned out there. So you are nominated for this award or you win this award. This is how a lot of our people look at it, eh? Yeah. They have arrived once the name is mentioned out there. So some of them, they don't care how they arrive as long as they are recognized out there, which is very, very sad, which is very, very sad. So as much as we are happy for him, I hope nobody go on to that, oh, we are not happy for him and we're bashing him and so on. But we, we have to look at this thing all around because the fact of the matter is he comes from here. And when anything, it's the name of this country that will be called. Yeah. You see? Okay. And we are the ones who will be shed in a bad light. Okay. So we are happy for him, but we also have to put our put in our one cent and our two-piece cent in it and whatsoever because we want the best and we have to help him put his best foot forward. We don't want all of these negativities against us as a people with this gang culture, this violence culture, this gun culture and all this sort of thing. We don't need all of that. Because if it was positive, you would have never seen all of those views. I only hope where he's at, he knows himself, he knows who he is, he knows where he's coming from, he knows where he's going. And if the time arises, he can stand up on the grounds of principle and say, hey, look, no, I'm not going to sing this. I'm not going to advance this. This is against what I believe and yeah. it's not just about the money and the pro promotion have a blessed day guys okay same to you okay let's All take right. we're going to take a quick break uh easy and uh mm -hmm. there was another topic i wanted to actually wanted to talk about yeah. it since last week but uh which i think might actually generate a, a, a bunch of calls as well uh, because it really rankles me but let me come back Now. 
fruit has got a new skin. With real juice within, drink the real fruta. Enjoy the real joy. Taste the real fruta. Enjoy the real fruta. Refreshing juice of every day is fruta. Fruta juiced right. Nine forty one, and we're back on uh, Island T. And there's yeah. a, there's another grenade I wanted to try. You do, you, to try. you like your train bombs all morning, man. Okay, so um <laughs> um I don't know if you guys have been following your news, and you know that um, Uganda has been. I think they're going to be sanctioned by the U.S. because uh, Uganda and some other um, African countries. You know they have laws and they have a culture that does not accept homosexuality. And my thing is, and then this this is this has been expressed by a lot of people online as well. But my thing is, why the double standard? Why the hypocrisy, um, Mr. Biden? Um, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, China, um, a whole bunch of other countries have way harsher um, laws against homosexuality. I mean, to the point of death. But how is it you're not sanctioning them and you're not pressuring them to change um, to change their culture? And how dare you, how dare you tell a sovereign country what, it cultures, what its culture should be and, um, and, 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 and dare to be, um, you know, dare to be the, 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 the arbiter of what, human, what, what, what is universal as far as human rights is supposed to be. I mean, really rankles me. No. Now suppose Uganda got up and decided they were they were going to um, sanction the United States because of their uh, <laughs> the fact that, for example, let's say they treat dogs better than humans or something like that. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. But I have a serious problem with this kind of uh, arrogance. Were you read the article, James? Though I'm gonna I'm gonna look for it and send it to you. Let's take a call here. What the caller has to say. Caller, go right ahead. Good morning, James. Hey, what's up? I'm good. Good morning, Hazard. Good morning. No, the, the last How caller just—I'm good. Mm -hmm. The last caller just says, "Feels the word arise." Now let me let me take us back to mm -hmm. um, when our brother took the White House for eight years. Did we arrive when Obama was at the White House? Did we arrive? No, you see, I think earlier one of the callers says that words words have power. And that is a fact. But look at it. Is it just words alone? It is words and figures. They all have powers. And that is what's being used upon us. We are under a spell of words because we are not even using our own language. Now, in all that is going on in, this, in, in, in the music industry, Jamster and Azad, mm -hmm. the lyrics that are there, it is always to keep us where we are. Some of it is destroying us, and we like it. We like the lyrics. I mean, most of us who are listening don't even listen. Maybe it's the rhythm and just likeness for the artist. So we are not paying attention to certain things. And that is what is destroying us. And they know it. They know it, Jamster. I mean, I think one of you kind of geared towards they allow certain artists to reach up the ladder as if to say, oh, well, this, this, this person has arrived. But that's why I'm asking, when our brother took the White House, did we arrive? The system is geared against us on many levels. Many levels. But we need to be educated, Jamster and Azad. I mean, look at the youth today. Those of us who are airing our views on air, who is listening? Who is listening, Jamster? Mm -hmm. The future? The youth, are they listening? Are they aware? Are we are aware of our awareness? This thing is so deep, but it's high time that we get serious with it. Because our future is at stake. Again, everything is skewed against us. It is by design. We have to eradicate it. We have to get rid of it, Jamsa. Our, our survival, our future depends on it. 
a lot of things that we read in the scriptures. They are bold enough to tell us in the scriptures. And today, no, you, you just mentioned about the sanction with the LGBT in, 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 in Uganda. But look at what Joseph Borrell has said. Europe is a garden. The rest of the world is a jungle. And Africans are easy targets. They are not afraid now to make this bold, racist statement. And we hear it, and it's like, it's like water thrown on the ground. Spill water on the ground. Cannot come back. They're never going to apologize. We hear it. Look at Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron, just early this last month, has apologized for the 14 Francophone countries that France has done atrocities to. But is he world sound? I mean, I listened to this, this, this greedy president of France. He apologized to all the Francophone countries that France have created genocide. And he even used words like, words alone cannot mend what France has did. The very fact that he's using say, his words saying words alone and asking forgiveness. Guys, you, you all need to check it out. Yeah. Listen to this, this president of France and ask yourself, is he serious in his words by saying words alone cannot, you know? And I said, wow. Okay, call up. Um, okay, Jamster. This okay, thing is deep great. and we got we to get serious with it. Okay, so uh, call us. The numbers are 662-0989, 762-0989, You have three options. 662 762 or 466 0989. Just and, and here's a mnemonic you can use to remember the numbers you know, the, the WinFM FM frequency is 9, 98.9. Yeah, 98.9. So, so it's zero, 0989. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Back to the phones. I okay, Island T, you're on. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you guys your second grenade, the rest <laughs> is quite comfortable. <laughs> With the double standards, you know. Just Absolutely. They, 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 they will condemn Russia. Uh, they'll fight against Russia. But isn't Israel doing the same thing in the Middle East? Right? Taking territory by conquest and basically an annexing it. Right? So, so they are comfortable with the double standards. Uh, their view is, um, and they, they, they expressed this, I think, when somebody pointed, pointed out the double standard between the treatment of Cuba and and China. They go after Cuba with sanctions and so on, and Venezuela as well. But they wouldn't do the same thing with China. Because, as they put it, simply because um, you can do something about dictatorship in one area and not be able to do the same in another area is no excuse for not imposing it, imposing your will, in the, uh, on the smaller territory. <laughs> you, 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 see, you see that yeah. kind of logic? Yeah. Okay? As far as they're concerned, they're both bad, yes. Um, but we can't fight against China. That would be against our interests. But we can fight against Cuba. But, right? but, 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 it, you, but you know, it doesn't stand up either. Because if you look, if you, if you look at it, if you look at it, uh, you take, have a more critical eye. I mean, Africa has everything they need. They need Africa more than you can argue that they need Africa and its resources more than the other way around. You can, you can make a good argument. <laughs> but you know that Africa, uh, um, I think they've concluded that Africa is not going to put up a fight because they can't afford to, right? And they're not going to put up a fight they, because, because... And they're secondly, they're poor. They, 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 they need the, the crumbs, so to speak. But, but, I, I, but very, I think they're very no, cynical you, you, about you, the decisions you, they're but, taking. But, but the they thing is, know that it, it, it's double standard and, and, and all that. But this is just a case as far as they're concerned. Might is right and justifies the means. And so, you know, and that is why countries like ours down here and, and in the Caribbean, even Latin America, um, they basically don't have any time to waste with us. Right? You, you conform or else. Right? And, and that's it. Okay? Because they, 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 they are not going to change that kind of hegemony. It, it's against their interest, so to do. 
Because okay. everybody cannot live, uh, if, if everybody had their standard of living, right, the world would not have enough resources to go around. So in order to protect their, their way of life, um, of course, they couch it in terms like democracy and, and, and those kind of human rights and those kind of things. But in order to protect their way of life, their standard of living, <laughs> they have to keep others out. It's as simple as that. You know, it's, it's yeah. just as simple as that. So don't look for any change anytime soon. Don't look for any kind of um, moral um, suasion to work with them. Right? They, they know exactly what they are about. Right? And, and I guess if you are living up there, you would be thinking the same thing too. <laughs> Once you, your, your standard um, of living is threatened, you're going to push back. Right? You're not going to let anybody come and take it from you just like that. You know, Unfortunately, you know, that's, that's the, just the way it is. The, the, the problematic thing with the, the Afri with, with the West's interaction with, well, everyone's interaction with Africa is that uh, it's, the West especially has spent decades, you could maybe you could say centuries even, um, um, softening up and um, corrupting and um, inculcating greed and um, selfishness and corruption, incubating corruption um, so that w when it's time to extract the minerals, the, the African leaders are going to do everything in the interest of the West rather than in the interest of their own people. So that's a big part of the problem as well. To your yeah, point, well, well, yeah. um, I, I, I tend to, to not to go so far because <laughs> that's that's essentially blaming the West. The thing is, right no, now, no, I'm not blaming the, the West the, at all. The, the, the African countries, there's enough blame to go African around. African countries, and they can can fight against that. They choose not to because it's more difficult. It's it's it's, it's easier to accede to what the West wants as opposed to fighting. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah, that's my point. You're making my point. Meaning... No, no, but what, I, what, but, what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, right, they can decide. It's on them now and not the West to decide how to respond to this, to this new kind of imperialism, right? You can say, well, the, the U.S. doing I mean, this or the, the, yeah, the Western yeah, powers I doing, mean, can you imagine, doing this and double standard. Can you imagine... You will respond is what determines that. Yeah, you, 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 can you imagine what Nigerians must feel like after that last election where they really thought that they were going to get something different then? And the, I, I know there's a lot of um, cynicism and hopelessness in Africa, especially with the, 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 the people who vote, because a lot of times where there's even um, someone who even remotely might be different to what they've had for decades, they, they, they always find a way to mess it up, like Nigeria. But, but, but actually, <laughs> I, I just, a few days ago, I listened to a BBC, a hard talk, I think it was, with um, a, an official of what you call the, they call it, he called it the Economic Freedom Fighters Party in South Africa. Yeah, Miss, what's his name again? I forgot. The, uh, um, I forgot his name. Yeah. But you, you, you heard the interview? I don't know if it's the same one I heard, but I, I okay, watch a lot of his stuff. I'm going to look for it. Yeah, basically he was explaining his position vis-a-vis -vis the 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 um, that of the other parties and the fact that so many people are now turned off because of the the, the mainstream parties, so to speak, um, adopt the same position you, you're suggesting of acquiescing to to the Western powers. Okay. Um, that's why I guess why that, that's why they call themselves freedom fighters too, right? It's just that they're economic, right? And and um, because people, after all these years, people not seeing the kind of change they expected now that the, the black the black leaders are in power and and the the, the, the uh, are supposedly now free to do uh, um, to effect policies as they wish, right? They're not seeing the change, and so. And that is why fringe, call them fringe of various parties, come up. Okay? Right? So, so what I'm saying, it, 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 it's, still, it's still on us, on, on us to respond in the correct way to this kind of, of hegemony. Yes, it has consequences, um, but 
the alternative is to just roll over and die, you know? Yes, okay. Um, which I, I, I have a call. You know, yeah, okay. Then. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. And see, we um, try to take the call and then you lose it. But, um, man, I mean, <sighs> I was going to make a point um, to... To, I was going to make a point to something he said, but. Uh, mm. Caller, go right ahead. You're on here. Hey, good morning, James. Good morning, hey, what's up? Okay, good keep morning. it short. Guys we, doing? Keep it short. We have another call. Yes, because I know time, yeah. yeah. Well, his name, Julius Malema is the leader Malema, of the yes, economic yes. experience. No, yeah. Yes. It might have been another rep, but Julius Malema. No, it's him, yeah. No, I, I was trying to yeah. remember. Yeah. Um, I wanted to bring something else. That, that pertains to this slightly, shortly. Um, I heard a, a, an address from the UN level by our representatives there, and I allowed it. But I am wondering where, 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 where that address came from. What prompted that address? Because I also listened to Macron. I'm the I'm president of France. I, I don't know if you have privy to what he has said. It seemed like that was recent. I haven't seen and that I one yet. I have to go look for that. Huh? I haven't seen the Macron address. I heard uh, Ira re refer to it. I'm going to have to go look for that as well. And, and the you Malema, have to jump, sir. I'm going to look for it. It was discussion. But I think it's Anivis had made a statement in terms of camaraderie, you know, solidarity with the, the 10 point plan for CARICOM, which is good. But I am saying, we, I have not heard Think It's Anivis voice in eons. And I don't like it. I don't like it in the sense that we are a part of CARICOM and we just play that wait and see game, you know, and, and we just hide ourselves under the bed. And then when things come on, start to unfold, we, 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 we let our voice be heard. And that's not good enough. And so I, I shall say more about okay. it, but find that clip and bring it to the fore. Okay, I'll see if I find it. Okay, and on the light note. All I like to know, AZ, how are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm just okay. uh, listening right. to the discussion between uh, you guys. You, you, you seem very thoughtful this morning. Um, yeah. You saw the thing I sent you about cannabis can oh, improve yes. your sex life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I saw it. I saw it. You sent it this morning. It says, yeah, it says, uh, uh, man, I'm telling you. Um, it yeah. says, um, why some people claim it accentuates every bit of feeling and touch? Okay, so I probably need to up my <laughs> intake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take another call. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Island T, you're on. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's been I've a been while. Waiting here and I've been enjoying the discussion, you know. Very much so. See, I told so you. Let me call her once and some about the greetings. To New Jersey, to my niece, Antoinette, until Christmas on Spot Street. It was Huna, huh? Today is her birthday. So happy birthday, Antoinette, and all other people listening in the States. So if you're listening and you know Antoinette, tell her Auntie, Auntie Sylvie, and send happy birthday. Now, um, a lot of the discussion, we have to conclude that. A lot of it, we are in collusion. So our leaders, they talk a good talk at home and so. And when time to put up any form of resistance, you have none, you, you get excuses. Well, you know, if you do so and so. And then other countries put up a resistance and we applaud them. So it comes down to that we are weak leaders. You know, up to now, the matter with Venezuela has not been settled, you know. But I do give them credit for standing up and saying, look, we will not support the invasion. The same thing with um, Haiti. I don't know what I've gone into Haiti a long time, eh? So we got to let sometime let our leaders know that we do not support certain of the proposals made to them by the developed, if you want to call them developed countries. Sometimes we don't say anything, so... We talk after it happened. And the same thing in Russia, in um, Africa. People make choices. These leaders are not ignorant, can read out, out of some dark part of Africa. 
They know exactly what they're getting in. The other day I was listening to this thing on video about about the gold mafia. Okay. Right, and the people, the leaders are the ones who, who, who get in, skimming it off. While the people, some people, you know, hear them, oh, we, we can't, we, we literate, and they, they, they um illegal mining gold. What are they doing with the money that they get? True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right, then. Okay, yeah. You have a great right. day. So happy thank you. Happy thank birthday you. again to Antoinette. Okay. Yes, happy birthday, Antoinette. And thank you, uh, Miss Henry, for calling. And it's been a while since I've heard her voice. Yeah. Yes. You're just listening to us these days. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Okay, so we got to wrap it up. Um, wrap it's, it. um, yeah. no. We got uh, Spin Cycle. Spin Cycle. We have and the Spin Cycle with Jamstar. Yeah, and, and uh, the, the, if you guys want to hear the, t the, the radio version of Taliban, yeah, that's coming up too. Um, uh, someone for Sankey's Music Festival should be joining me. So, uh, awesome. We're going to be good. doing that. Okay. That's good. So let's, uh, you have a, go a good day. You as well. Yeah, I will. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> okay. Magnum new labor chart up, and it means that the vibes look just like you. A journey I'm a call up, can't you see that the hot girl just passed through? Select a just all up, can't you see that the new look just make you? I saw step forward, no. What you gonna do? Stay tough, stay tough.